three. Killian Friel comes into the lineup for UNH, and uh, LaRosa will sit down. Down low, it comes to Prayman. Traffic got good, and I could hear the slap from here. And she'll go to the line with a chance for a three-point play. In traffic, she really was able to muscle it up. As I said, I could hear the slap over here. Out top is an outside jumper. Kleppinger, no good. Hogan with the rebound for the Wildcats. Hogan quickly right side to Bellabo. Denise hesitates, comes baseline, puts it off, and it's good. She made a great hesitation move about 12 feet out. All right, here's Hogan. In front of the Stony Brook bench, over to La Rosa. La Rosa works the left sideline, back out to Reed. Straight away, three, gets it. Good call play, and they worked it to perfection. The circle, can't shoot. Ball is knocked away by Reed, picked up by Hogan. Up ahead to La Rosa. La Rosa. She'll try a three. Good. The Wildcats is firing away right now, and the reason why is Stony Brook's not getting out there and covering the shooters. Hogan in the midcourt area, comes high to Flynn at the foul line, left side. Now to Gaston, sees room baseline, pull up is good on the spin around. Sends it over to Friel. Friel a couple of dribbles, one second, Bellabo jumper, good. Beat the clock as it just left her hand at the free throw line. So this is uh, your starting lineup in here for New Hampshire right now. Frame is playing with three personal fouls. La Rosa has it for Hogan. Hogan to Bellavo, her three on the way, it's good. Just to the right of the circle, just about 20 feet away. Bellavo has recorded the last seven Wildcat points in the lead, which was down to one when her personal run began, is now up to nine. Right side, it comes over for Reed. Reed out to Bellabo. Underneath to frame. It's up, it's good, she's fouled. That's her first basket in a long, long time. Maintaining the dribble. Clock is in their favor. Just over a minute five to go. Now frame to Bellabo. One minute left, 12 seconds in the play clock. Denise on the drive, goes all the way through, comes back to the paint, goes with a jumper, good from 10 feet. Went all the way from right to left underneath the basket, put in a 10-footer. The comment on the bench play, I thought your bench gave you a lot of quality minutes, in particular uh, Flynn Friel also, we hadn't seen much of her recently, but when you had Frame sitting down in foul trouble and Bellabo was quiet for a while, those bench players really seem to give you some solid minutes. Yeah, I'm really happy with Kelly. I mean, Kelly had a great game at, at Vermont. I mean, she had one of the biggest plays of the night. Um, so, you know, as a fifth-year senior, uh, that's what I, you know, I was, I'm hoping for her and, and expecting from her. And, you know, Jill Friel works hard every day in practice, and, um, you know, I gave her a shot tonight, and, and I thought she played really, really well. I agree. Now, let me give you a good and a bad and have you comment. The uh, bad being rebounding, get out rebounded 33-26. The good only uh, eight turnovers. Yeah, that was one of the keys to the keys to victory tonight was was out rebounding the opponent, and uh, you know we have to work on that, especially coming off such a great rebounding night the other night at Vermont. Um, but I'll take that. I mean they're very athletic defensively, and and if we controlled the tempo of the game, I thought, and we, we took care of the ball, so that was a positive. Yep. All right, above 500 in the league, tenth win of the year. 